Miss Absurd. What's happening? Now, Miss Absurd. Why, why do they call you Miss Absurd? Because it's, it's for Albert Camus and John, John Paul Sartre. The, the world as we know it is absurd and makes no sense, but art is our way to rebel against the absurd. Oh, okay. So uh, you're. You gotta whack it out. So you're rebelling against the absurd or you're rebelling in favor rebel of the absurd? For the absurd. For the absurd. Okay. I'm, I'm, as usual, you get me uh, discombobulated and confused. <laughs> now. You play, it's very unusual, you just went to a punk rock club and played scat bass and they loved it. <laughs> I think it's great, I'm so grateful. I played on a bunch of punk rock shows here. I, I'm sure you did. Yeah. Now, do you, I, I was going to ask that, do you do straight jazz clubs too? I have, because I'm not straight ahead jazz, I'm kind of in the middle. So I think it's great because I have this like punk rock do-it-yourself attitude. Right. And like since my old crass days from, from middle school right. and high school, but I but this is kind of avant-garde and strange, so I'm glad that I can fit in with them and that they've taken me under the wing. Right, what happened? <laughs> Eight time playing double down. Well, yeah. And what do you think of the double down? I love it. It is a Las you Vegas like the institution. Let the ass juice flow. Yes, there's a drink. Shut up and drink. There's a drink called ass juice. And, I know. Uh, what do you think of the ass juice? <laughs> it's pretty assy. Yeah. Now, but have you. The bottoms have, up. Have, it's, it's very windy. Uh, and your hair is always so great. <laughs> this is so atypical. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, when did you learn to play bass? Uh, I've been. I started in two thousand nine, two thousand nine. But I didn't take it seriously. I had a folk band in LA called The Love Absurd. I played guitar right. for ten years. I remember. I gave it up. <laughs> Not gave it up. I switched, transitioned into, and I, I put a picture of me on it with it on Facebook, and everybody's calling me for gigs. And I was like, I don't play bass, so it's like I should learn how to play bass. Really? Um, learn how to play bass. Because you. This, you well, this was like three. Years ago now. So you picked it up yeah. for very quick. I'm still learning. I mean, we all got more to learn. Right. But you, when did you pick up a guitar for for the first time? Uh, I was 17. Okay. So bass, I was. So three years ago. 23. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, but then I didn't play for a long time, and it was broken. It had a crack, and then so I finally learned how to fix it, and I fixed it. <laughs> how do you fix a crack in the bass? <laughs> very carefully. Okay. <laughs> Why did, why did you move from LA to Vegas? The music. Yeah? I didn't know anything, but I was like, there's 200 hotels in Vegas. So I was like, one of them's got to give me a gig. You know, and it was like, I, 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 my grandparents lived here and they came out here when I was a kid. So yeah. I kind of always had these memories in the desert. So right. I just want to get lost. But it's been great. I didn't know anybody. And yeah. oh, I played uh, close to 200 shows. Right. Close right. To the, close to that. And you made a lot of new friends. Yeah, a lot of new friends. And reconnected with a lot of old ones. It's so, even tonight, we had a bunch of this mesh from people from LA and right, right. from all over. Right. It's been they, great. They all follow you. And now you're on your way to New York. Yeah, my first time going to New York, and then next month, a month from now, I'll be there. It's a trip. And um, yeah, my first show in a month, exactly today. And uh, I'm 
never. I, I last time I was in New York, I was 17. Too. Right. I auditioned for Juilliard, and I didn't get in. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I decided I was like not what I wanted. I didn't want to be an actress. I wanted. To, I wanted. I think I wanted to be a musician. <laughs> my band even though it's just me you know but yeah. it's an act mm -hmm. and so i wanted to be cool the, the, the yeah. right. if i could do all that i want to do for the act oh it would be amazing i, I, would I love, do, do tell i would love to be too with with light with lights and, and different effects and stuff like that i used to do uh, i love sun raw right, right. so bring, bring all that that mystery back so that's that's what's coming able to once I don't have a, a 20 minute set to a 30 minute set you know with like a line check right you know I love this for, for me. Yeah. yes I can, I can only so my name's on this marquee for the first time I saw that I, I played here like a bunch of times and up there for the first time so we'll see about these other Vegas spots now what, plenty of time what's the secret now we've got a lot of people what's the secret of holding people's attention with just a microphone and a bass how do you do it well, I think, well, I project really loud. I sing really loud, and I think what my, uh, my from the theater teaching is our, our director used to scream at us, hit the back wall, make sure you hit the back wall. So I have this, this presence that I, I've only known, so I don't have a hard time being soft and timid, so I kind of fit in with the punk crowd. But the, the holding the attention, it's like, sometimes it depends. Tonight it was actually kind of quiet for my set. Right. It was right. I've was, seen people go crazy. That was kind of cool. And it's like, I play here sometimes and it's way too loud. But the bass sounded really good. I got a new pedal alongside it and I'm still learning right. how to use it and stuff. But yeah, you it, electrified your bass. Yeah, oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's got a pick up. But I oh, got okay. a wah pedal for it and I got a brand new one. And it's, 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 oh, I can see the more possibilities. I can imagine. Down that rabbit hole. I can imagine. My <laughs> name is Ms. Absurd. Soul's got slap, solo bass. I do have little button, button pins that I made, um, selling them for a dollar on my tour, my first tour to New York City in next month. And I also have free stickers, lots of love and hugs to give. So I'll say what's happening uh, after the show. You, uh, you pick at it. Let me see how calloused your hands are. Oh, they're, they're I mean, they're whatever right yeah, now. Yeah. I put oil and I... Oh, yeah, they're, they're nice and moisturized. They're, yeah, I know. I was expecting sandpaper. No, they're good, but I, but I mean, then you still can whack it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well... As long as you know how to whack it. Well, if anybody knows how to whack it, it's me. <laughs> so I